As banners change, so does the meta. Greetings and salutations, my name is Deltran, doing some builds for PvP teams, because right now, the PvP arena is crazy. So let's you and I discuss a few different options that we can use just to get us through this rough time, and hopefully after a banner or two, maybe things will change up a little bit so it's not so hectic. Right now, the biggest problem is that a lot of people are running Reinhardt, and Lin, and at the same time, all the brave heroes except for Roy are making a huge, huge appearance in the arena right now. So whenever you have all of these forces sitting there, sometimes your existing teams aren't going to do so well. A lot of people like to bring distant counter. Sometimes they like to bring certain other things. That just nothing is working because you're dealing with too much ranged firepower and too many brick walls that are just walking along. So. I did some evaluations and some studies on things. I actually got a lot of data off of uh, feymeta.com, F-E-H-meta.com, and with that data, you're able to see what kind of units people are running, and the, among the top 10 units people are running, starting at the bottom are things like Ryoma, Brave Lucina, and Ike. And if you look all the way at the top, you're looking at Brave Ike, Reinhardt, and Brave Lin. The, this is a problem. Uh, in the middle, you see things like Ninu uh, and Dancers and Singers, so really you're dealing with a lot of ranged firepower and a lot of the same because of the Dancers and Singers. Doesn't mean it's the only thing you're going to find. 25% of the teams you're going to find are roughly going to be Horsey Emblem. Uh, you're not going to find too much Fire Emblem right now. Most of the people are going to be on the ground. You're going to find a few people who are armor. Of course, Hector is among the top 10 popular as well. Whenever you're dealing with compositions like this, it can definitely throw things into chaos. And so I just wanted to share with you some findings and present a team that I built that I've been having some really good success with so far. Hopefully, we won't need to be worried about this set of meta for, uh, for very long, because I personally find it to be a little annoying. I don't know about you, let me know down in the comments. But the team that I found uh, ends up using some characters that aren't so well utilized until, well, at least for me, until recently. Uh, one recommendation is, is to use Brave Lin. Roughly 80% of the people picked Lin as their hero. I don't know how many other people pulled it. Um, not to mention this demographic data is really only coming from a sample set from Reddit, so mm, it's the best I got. But, go ahead and just take a stock Brave Lin. Uh, what I recommend is giving Lin the plus one speed uh, seal if you got one. That way, if you find other vanilla Brave Lins, you'll be able to double them and not worry about them so much. But you want to take a Brave Lin. You want to also take an Able. Uh, if you don't have Able, the mounted uh, Brave Spear user, you can actually use Donnell. Uh, at least a 4-star if you have him SI'd out or put into 5-star because you see how useful he is in all of the other videos out there for Grand Hero Battles, Bound Hero Battles, Battle Battle Battles. Uh, I would recommend taking him instead. But Abel is great. He can tank hits from different greens as well. Not super well, but you know what? He can he can take a hit from some of the weak ones. He could take a hit from Ike. Uh, he could take a hit from Hector. And that's nice to be able to give you just that little bit of cushion there. Uh, in this particular setup, I also recommend taking Krom. Krom is a wonderful unit to have here. He's going to heal. He's going to duel. He's going to be able to withstand. And he also fits Brave Sword very well. So if you work on him with, as, with SI, you're going to have an amazing unit that's going to stand and deliver and uh, carry you through things. Now you already have a bonus unit with this setup I'm recommending, and so in this particular one you could go with a lot of other flexible options here, but one big problem you still have is Reinhardt. So what I recommend is, is taking a buffed out Merrick or female Robin, male Robin if you have him uh, well enough SI'd, uh, somebody like that Bowie. Anybody like that is what I would take. You could take a Julia in a pinch, but really for the most part, if you have a Raven Tome user, that's probably going to be best for you. So that, that way you have an auxiliary to take out Lin, you have somebody who could take out Reinhardt and Owen who shows up once in a while, and you have enough other umph to be able to take care of Bridelia's uh, different uh, people who are running uh, Gaius and Satsuna. That's probably the best right there. And this team can cover all the top 10 threats that are out there right now, plus all the other ones that follow that are very common. You can handle Xander and Canvas. You can handle uh, Flyer Emblem. You can handle a buffed out Nanu 
or uh, a, a Julia running around. It's a very versatile team, and it's something that'll carry you through. Now, if you don't have these guys necessarily, first of all, I really recommend Brave Lynn. Brave Lynn is important because that is one of the few units that can easily uh, handle and mitigate some of the distant counter shenanigans with Ike and Ryoma, who are in the top, and also uh, uh, Hector as well, help uh, add a little extra damage there. In addition to that, though, uh, Brave Lynn just has such good matchups with her default kit, uh, I have a hard time not recommending her. But if you are missing one or more of these units that are here, make sure you get a bonus unit for sure. Uh, Olivia is in the current arena season. That's wonderful. Go ahead and grab Olivia, put her in there, basically doubles up on whoever you have there, lets them move around a lot quicker. You can also run uh, people like Tharia, especially if you don't have a Krom. Tharia is going to be a good nuking mage. You can also substitute Sanaki, but she actually doesn't have as much favorable matchups against all the rest. Um, and Tharia can be buffed up if you have the correct C slots for the rest of your teammates, especially if you're running an Olivia or some other dancer or singer. Uh, if you have another bonus unit that has given out buffs, it's going to help out that Blade Totem user very well. You could try to run a. Uh, uh, no, no, but she's not going to help you get through all of the matchups that you see there. Although it's an aggressive unit that can go after Reinhardt, and also if you buff her up, handle uh, Brave Lynn without a problem, even with her really nice resistance. Uh, on other units that you can substitute in, I already talked about Donnell. Donnell is wonderful here. Between Abel and Donnell, they can handle so many uh, people on the field, and they can even take a hit from some of the uh, greens, like uh, Brave Ike. Because he's not a strong hit, he has Ignis on m many people, he has Aether on some others, but that's not going to knock you out immediately. You can use some of these uh, blue units to be able to tank, and it's wonderful. <laughs> it's 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 nice to see that you have that kind of option there. So that's some of the uh, things that I've been looking at. There's definitely plenty of units that work. You could definitely run some Flyer Emblem. You can mix things up. You could do a little bit of Armor Emblem mixed in with things. Uh, this is by no means definitive, but if you're looking for something to run, this is a recommendation. So you guys let me know what you guys are running down below, and hey, do me a favor. If I give you anything that you want, hit that like button. If I you like your Fire Emblem information not on Fresh the Grandma's Cookie, hit that subscribe button. My name is Deltran. Thank you guys so much. I greatly appreciate all of you, and until next time. Take it easy.